is me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and today I'm here with a really cool video, I hope. This idea has been taking me a while to figure out the best way to do it, and it might seem a little bit disjointed, but let me just explain and then you'll see. Basically, I was sent this really cool lamp for review, and I actually put it in my haul already, haul already and showed a few clips, but I wanted to do a full review on the lamp itself. So, how we're gonna do this is first, I'm probably gonna insert a few clips I took of unboxing the lamp and showing you all of that. So ready, here's that. Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with a completely different video because of course I am. I got asked, I got emailed a few weeks ago asking if I wanted to review this lamp, and I was like, yeah, sure. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. But the lamp just got here, and I figured I'd give you my first reaction, which is, Wowie, look at this big boy. I haven't unboxed it yet, but I am really excited. This is the BenQ E reading lamp, and I'm gonna take it out and show you what we got going and do some coloring to see if we notice a difference in my video quality with the fancy lamp. So stay tuned. Okay, so to get it out, it actually had this cool like plastic over it with a pull tab. So like when you opened it, you literally just like pulled that out. And I thought that was pretty cool because those can be really annoying to get out and you don't just wanna like throw it. But anyway, here's what we're looking at. The base is bigger than I expected. Not really, but when I was like, wow, this is so skinny, it'll be great. Um, it is pretty wide. So I'm gonna have to put it on my desk in this corner right there. But right now my desk is a mess. Yikes, don't look too close. So I'll probably get this set up and show you and then also Wait until night though to really do a review because what good is it during the day? But that'll give me some time to get my desk cleaned off and get it all set up. Okay, so that was super easy to put together. Obviously it's been like a minute. So it's on right now, right? So it has like, whoa, fun different, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to research it and then when I come back at night, I'll talk about it. But you turn it on and off by touching this ring. <clears throat> and then it also has like this bar to adjust. And then there's like a mode, so it's green, which means it's good for using, for reading on screens. And then you can like, and now when it's orange, it's good for reading out of books. So I'm in, look at that bad boy. Also, this is so heavy to keep it so balanced. And I think it moves around pretty good. I don't wanna mess with it too much again until nighttime when we can see, but that is a fancy lamp. I'm a fancy lady, so I'll be back when it's dark. Okay, here we are at nighttime and here's our lamp. My desk is still a mess. I think I have to just admit it will always be a mess. But here is the lamp, obviously the light in the hallway's on and my computer is blaring, but here it is. It's super cool and it's touch, boop. I missed touch. So, oh, it's got this cool design that you are supposed to put eye level when you're reading and then it kind of focuses the light just on what you're looking at. And if we look up here, it has different modes. So it has the green light is on right now, which means it's for screen reading, which obviously is good for e-reader since it's an e-reading lamp, or for your computer, which is I'm using to edit. But if we hold down our button, I keep, doo -doo -doo, it turns to orange, and this is good for book reading. So it's just the different tone of light. Again, I'm gonna, what can I look at? How do I, uh, we'll just look at our paper. So right now it is on, sorry, it is on reading, like a uh, paper reading, and then we're gonna switch to e-reading. Zoop. And you can see the whole tone changes, so it's different on your eyes, and it will be less strain on your eyes, and I'm gonna change back. Oop. and now it's nice and bright. And then it also has the wheel that you can just adjust the brightness. And it's a little bit hard to like tell through the, the phone, but believe me in person, it is making quite the difference. And it is on this long arm that's completely adjustable. It does make it the tiniest bit wobbly, but it doesn't affect like what the light looks like. So I'm wobbling it and I don't think you can tell. It just obviously, as I'm coloring vigorously, 
It might wobble a tiny bit, but it's no big deal. It's super easy to put together and it's fully adjustable with your height and however, wherever you wanna put it, which is nice because the base is nice and heavy so it doesn't fall over. It's not at risk at that. But if I'm ever doing anything and then I need it out of my way, I just kind of like boop, boop, and then it gets out of my way. So overall, I'm absolutely loving this lamp. I'm so grateful to have it. And I look forward to using it for a long, long time to make my videos look better and to just make me happier and be brighter and be able to see. So thumbs up. And I, how cool is this lamp? Like, it looks really cool. It's really fun. It's sleek on my desk, and I'm very excited about it. But now, to show you the magic of the lamp, I have decided to do four speed colors in this video. So right now, it is about 1.40 in the afternoon, and it is cloudy out, but it's still daytime. So I'm going to do a speed color, and I'm going to do one without the lamp on, and then one with the lamp on. And then I'm going to come back tonight and do it again in the dark. And we're going to mush these all together and see how much the lamp helps. I have been using it for like a week or two already and I love it a lot. I just always like everything to be really bright. So it's been very helpful to me just in my everyday life. And I cannot wait to show you how helpful it is for coloring. So what I'm doing, it's also an extra project because I always have to multitask, even in my review videos. I recently purchased an extra set of Tau Tree markers. And if you see my last, I think, two wrap-ups for the month, I'm obsessed with these. I've used them so, so much. So much that the first set is starting to dry out. And if you know me from any of my other videos, I like to try to use all of my supplies evenly. So I don't wanna use up light blue and then go into my second set and use that light blue and then need a third set just for light blue. You know what I'm saying? So I am trying to use all of the markers at the same time. I've killed about 15 already and we're gonna keep going. And I'm gonna to try to do that in this mandala book. This is Mandala Black Background by Color Questopia. It is color by number and um. It is one of their newest books. I think they since came out with a newer one. I've already done a few pages in here and I think this is the best or mandalas are the best for doing this challenge because I tried to do this on a like mosaic animal book but picking random colors for that came out a little weird if that made any sense. So like for this yellow on one page could be like a nice bright yellow and on the next page it could be a super 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 pale yellow and it makes sense for mandalas. I've already done a ton. I've done some in here in my new Sachin mandala book in the Jade Summer mandala book. I have, it, let's see, it is the 11th and I have already colored 35 pictures this month because I'm just loving this project and I'm obsessed with all the color by number mandalas that I now have. So. That is the plan. I will probably come back at the very end of the four. We'll see. I don't even know how we're editing it yet, but I think you're gonna like it. So first up is daytime, no extra lamp. Let me tell you, it was so, so hard to not put this lamp on. I feel like after using it for a little bit, I, I'm in a dark cave now, even though it is daytime and the lights are on. So I'm hoping you can see the huge difference, but I feel like I'm like squinting. I don't know. So um, also, I think I've sufficiently killed two markers. How I've been testing is this sheet of paper. And basically, I folded it in half and I'm doing one stripe. And if it makes it all the way across without any streaks, I'm keeping it for another page. But if it looks a mess and is ridiculous and can't even make it that far, then I'm getting rid of it. So let's test these two and see what we got. I'm getting low on some colors. 
That looks like it's out for me because again, it's not completely, completely couldn't color a tiny thing with it. But at this point I have a backup set and it's making everything streaky and I literally have to press really hard to color and it's making it not fun, so. And another dead guy. I hope you can see that. I also, for a lot of these colors, already re-inked them with alcohol once to like get them through the page. So that's another reason I don't feel guilty doing this. But let's see if I can reach my little stack. Hold on, hold on. I have them in a different part of my desk. So this is how many dead guys I have so far. I think there's one more back there but we're making good progress on this. But as you can see, it's a lot of pinks and blues. So a lot of them are hanging on uh, by one or two more pictures. I should be done. Hopefully by the end of these four, we'll have made some good progress on this side mission too. So on to the one in the light. I cannot wait. I miss the light. Oh yeah, let's get ready. Beautiful. is 9 p.m. and it is time for our nighttime videos. So again, in my room, I have my normal overhead lights on and that's it. So we're gonna see the difference. And this is definitely gonna be the hardest for me to film because I miss this light so much. And I really like, I've gotten very, very used to having it on. So I actually switched to Color by Number by Jade Summer, her mandalas or their mandalas, it's a company. And um, I've really, been just doing tons of the mandalas and trying to like spread it out over the three books that I have. So let's try one in here. I picked one that seems to have a good amount of brown. And again, with my side mission of trying to use up my Tao trees, I have a lot of browns left. So that's what we're gonna do. So our first one is without our new lamp. And let's see, time-lapse time. <laughs> can tell but it makes my coloring experience much much better much easier to see I think the colors are coming across much clearer and closer to real life and I just love it so I again want to thank Benny Q Ben Q I keep saying Benny Q in my head Ben Q excuse me I would like to Ben Q e reading desk lamp is what's going on here and I will have, they have a bunch of links for you below that I will be putting, that Amazon link, a link to their website, a link to their Twitter, and you can find out more about this lamp. It's just super cool. I'm hoping you saw all the clips. Right now it is in book, physical book, like reading mode, and I can also tap it and put it into computer mode, and this makes it really easy on the eyes to read on the computer, and that's what I need to switch it to so I can edit this video. It also has a dimmer button that I can change how strong the light is, let's say, real dim or real, real bright. I'm hoping you can see that. Again, in person, it looks great. And it's just been a great addition to my desk. 
and I've loved using it a whole ton. And I'm so grateful for them for collaborating with me on this video. And I hope you enjoy it too. And again, check it out down below in all of the links if you would like to. I give it my thumbs up. And that's going to be it for me today. Uh, I think I might have a flip coming tomorrow or the next day. But if not, subscribe. I'm a fun time. Like this video. Comment down below anything you want to comment. I will see you again in two days with something different. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.